Hello and welcome to my second unpacking tutorial. Today I want to show you that sometimes it's not necessary to run a file in a debugger or to unpack it or to do any complicated stuff. Uh, sometimes it's actually enough to have a hex editor in the scripting language. And yeah, let's see what this packed file uh, shows. Uh, well, what we can do with this packed file here. Um, okay, I usually look at files at first in the hex editor because sometimes it will just shorten the time you need to analyze it. Um, because, well, in this case, I will show you why. Uh, Take a look at this. I don't know. Uh, I I did never analyze the step of this packed file. The only thing I did so far uh, was looking in the hex editor, and this is a dos step message. So, but but not really. It's kind of every every third uh, byte is kind of different. Uh, encoded or something. So, and if you look at the zero areas in the file, uh, the areas that will contain mostly zero bytes, you have this pattern of uh, we one four three five eight and zero. Uh, so, this tells you that this is an XOR encryption, because. Because if you encrypt something with XOR and you don't use a one-time pad, you will see the key in the zero areas. And that's basically it. That's our XOR key. And you also see it here. But it's missing the zeros uh, in between. So <coughs> let's just unpack it, right? I need to look for the beginning of the file. I think it's here because there's the uh, MZ. Okay. Then just copy the block. Uh, we will just copy everything starting from here, so it really doesn't matter if you append something to the end of the file um, for analyzing it because what I want to do is I want to cut this this out decode it and then analyze it and so that it's a valid PE file and it's a valid PE file if there's stuff at the end that doesn't belong to it okay uh, create a new file paste and save this as a dump So, yeah, this is our encrypted file, or let's say encoded, it's not really an encryption. <laughs> um, now, I will just open up Python. And I know I want to open our dump file. So I set a file handler to open dump and uh, the mode would be R for reading and uh, uh, it's also binary file so let's use B for binary. <coughs> I want to read the whole file into an array. So array is. I'm not sure if I can use array. Just shorten it. Um, and we will read everything. Okay. Now, for the encryption, we need the key. And the key. Okay, I have to open it up again. Uh, the key is. 
is this? Can I copy it from here? Um okay. Maybe I would have been faster with, with writing it, <laughs> but um, copying it will prevent any typos. So okay, it doesn't prevent any typos. Invalid syntax. What's the problem? Ah, there it is. I forgot. Uh, forgot the comma here. Okay. <laughs> And uh, now I want to read every byte in that array and I want to, let's print it, uh, <coughs> in the, yeah, I want to XOR it with our key. So that would be the outline of, of what I can use it right like this. I have to initialize the index first and I have to uh, well I don't want to print the byte value but well, let's take the okay it complains ix zero okay and now again this will print the single byte and it can't be correct as well uh, the index needs to be incremented, so we do not always uh, use zero. And furthermore, we need to start at the beginning of the key array once. Uh, we are at the last key, so it would be more like this and of course this uh, doesn't serve as any thing if, uh, if we cannot really see if this is correct so it's printed as chars and it's not correct uh, there's still this pattern and if it's if it had been correct, uh, there would be zero more zeros in here. So, uh, ah, I know why. Um, we need to set the index again to zero. Otherwise, it will just use where I stopped the last time. Maybe this is working now. Okay, there it is. Perfect. There's the dos step message. That means we can now unpack it. Okay, let's set it to zero again so we don't forget. We need an output. Uh, so uh, let's open uh, decode it and we want to append each byte um, <coughs> in the loop. I know that this is not efficient but this is a throwaway code and no one cares if the decoding takes a second longer or not. So uh, we will just append byte by byte. Uh, usually if you write efficient code it would be a whole buffer that you write to the file and not every single byte. Okay, uh, there's our out say out right let's see 
if that works. Okay, and now we have our decoded file here. Let's check if everything worked fine. And now, of course, it will complain that it is used in another process and cannot be opened for reading. And that's why I always told you to close your streams while I was still known as they are a queen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now I close the stream and now it works. And we see uh, the unpacking was correct and we have our unpacked file. Great. <coughs> Okay, and that's it. Uh, and yeah, I think I had quite a couple of files like these, so um, spare yourself some work and do the easy thing first. Look in the hex editor for anything that looks like a dustup or an embedded file and then see what, what you can do uh, without putting too much work into it. Because now, yeah, we we decoded, we we unpacked the file uh, in a few minutes without opening up any um, debugger, without looking at any disassembled code. So that's awesome, right? Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.